Hey guys, Kevin Cage back with another daily cryptocurrency update. Welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe if you like what you've seen. Let's get right into the information today. One take and uncut. So I'm on coinpeprika.com. I have highlighted a few favorites and these are projects that I keep my eye on. I am not saying I'm invested in any or all of these by any means, but these are specific projects that I keep my eye on for you know several reasons. Sometimes I see patterns that coincide and I'm looking for other projects to replicate them and I keep an eye of that on trading view in terms of algorithms and patterns and cycle analysis. Others, I actually like to keep up with the news and then others, I'm really waiting until they dip low enough where I would, you know, it would make you know sense for a potential buy. Now, the reason I do not really do videos on any other project on this channel is because everything else besides XRP to me, long term, is a complete gamble. I mean, besides maybe Ethereum, potentially Bitcoin, but just to be realistic, guys, I am just beyond bullish for XRP long term with true utility and the fundamentals back everything. Now, if you guys want me to cover any of these projects listed here, please let me know. And if there's any other projects that you guys want me to do, you know, maybe dedicated videos on or even just look into myself, I'm more than happy to do so. Um, I'm always learning. It's nearly impossible to keep up to date with all of the developments in this space on a daily basis. Everything is snowballing. But just so you know, these are some projects that I watch. Now, notice this. So XRP on the seven day, guys, we're, you know, only up 9%. And keep in mind, we are at, you know, the lowest we hit, I believe, was like 17 and a half cents the past month or two. But just look how everything else is surging up, just like XLM, which, you know, I hold a small portion of, and they're up 31%, seeing who wants to swing their XRP and buy Stellar instead or Lumens. Now, keep an eye on this, guys. The market is always full of temptation. One rule I do, because I learned early on, is never, never FOMO into a project. When Stellar or, you know, Lumens is up 31%, Tezos, Chainlink, look, 20% up on seven days. 30% up for IOTA with the Tangle rather than blockchain. I mean, everything's nearly up higher than XRP for the time being. And to me, that's the worst time to buy and FOMO into anything else. My rule is I like to see when a project is down 10% or more before I even consider buying. At the end of the day, if I miss the boat, oh well, I already have you know plenty of bags of the assets I like, but I'm not going to buy in the green. Typically, trading bots, they're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting. Many people often realize as soon as they buy the dip or you know as soon as they buy you know their asset that the price will just go down 3% right away and they're like, what the heck? You have to pay attention to these trends. So let me know if you have any favorites out of this list and just wanted to show and, you know, start things off a little differently and just, you know, there are some projects here I hold nothing of and some that I wouldn't even recommend holding, but I'm watching them because they match patterns that I like to keep an eye on and I like to keep an eye on the developments in that actual sector. All right, next. So Stetis, guys, just to give a quick little shout out, I'm not getting paid for this, but he does phenomenal work. This is S-T-E-D-A-S -S on Twitter. You can go to his website, Stetis.hr. He has great XRP infographics. So just to be brief, we have number of XRP wallets in the millions, 1.8 million. You know, XRP founded in 2012, number of accounts with 1 billion plus XRP, 7. Max XRP tip bot per tip, 5. But again, we have 500 here is the max allowed XRP per tip on the mobile app you know, application itself, unless you're sending to the wallet address, of course. We have, you know, light bulbs via terawatt hours, 52 million closed ledgers successfully without a single error in the history, whereas Bitcoin can be rolled back as well. Keep an eye on that. We have, you know, TPS transactions per second. This is obviously on chain, so 1500. It can scale higher. I know it's been sourced too, which is awesome. And I'd rather start from 1500 and develop to scale higher rather than starting at like seven TPS where Bitcoin is. We got the spring, 500 million investments, of course, in various blockchain companies, which is you know amazing within itself to develop the XRP ecosystem. So even if Ripple does disappear, we have nothing to worry about. And that is just my opinion, but I'm just following the money. All right. We got track action speed, you know, three to five seconds so four here. And then the other one I wanted to finish off with is right here. So what is XRP? Native cryptocurrency of the XRP ledger, world's third largest. We got 4,800 listed on coin market cap right now for total digital assets. I remember a lot of people started, you know, there was probably a thousand, two thousand. All right. Can be sent from the ledger, blah, blah, blah. And this is cool. So Again, XRP, guys, as this native token on the XRP ledger, basically, you know, the fuel for this entire network, because you can send other assets on it, you can send XRP to an address without needing a gateway or any type of, you know, liquidity, a liquidity provider as that middleman or that intermediary. And it helps make XRP a convenient bridge currency, especially even between, you know, the big four currencies as well with like the Euro, USD, JPY. 
All right. And we already know on demand liquidity is roll. We know it's deflationary. We see, you know, the percentage again, you know, one drop is one millionth of an XRP. And let me see, I just had it up just so you guys understand. So the current transaction cost required by the network for a standard transaction, this is how much the cost, this is how much XRP is burned, approximately 10 drops. All right, now it sometimes increases due to higher than usual load. So I just wanted to share that. And then XRP is sustainable, obviously, you know, when you measure it in terawatt hours versus Bitcoin. And then we can see the transaction right here. It's cheap besides, you know, fast, scalable, which is, you know, transactions per second. And I mean, let alone if we go off chain, it's much faster because it's more so centralized. There's not as many. It's more so an instant types of transaction. But we're talking about distributed. So we're going to stick with the 1500 TPS. We've already gone over the 50 million ledgers. And then per transaction. So typically, so this is four, four thousandth of a penny. Keep that in mind, guys. So again, right here, status.hr. Highly recommend it if you want to you know, learn even just about the Ripple ecosystem itself. And again, here's one last look at the projects that I keep an eye on for my own personal reasons. Let me know if there's anything I'm missing down below. Big thank you to everybody that likes and shares this video around, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.